Okay guys, welcome to another tutorial. As you probably guessed by the title, this is going to be on how to upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 7. Now you're thinking, how, what the fuck are you talking about? We all know that you have to do a clean install to upgrade to Windows 7. Well, that's not always the case. You see, Windows Vista is actually a sort of key, to, per se. Like, when you upgrade from XP to Vista, you have the capability of also upgrading to Windows 7, so all you basically need to do is upgrade Windows XP to Windows Vista without activating it, and then upgrade straight to Windows 7. It's easy as that, and the benefit of that is not losing all your files. The downside, it's going to take a while. So, just to demonstrate I'm, tr I'm correct, I'm going to install a few files on this virtual machine version of Windows XP. Now, a reminder before you actually do this, um, you... It's you might want to have XP Home to do this because that's the most upgradable version out there. I've tried Professional. All you can do is upgrade it to, well, Vista Enterprise and Ultimate. But nobody wants to go blowing off that much money. Or you just could just use Pirate Pirate Bay. Excuse me there. Okay, so I'll pause and I'll be back. Okay, as you can see here, I have just installed the Windows Live Essentials. A, few, a couple of them. The uh, Photo gallery, messenger, mail, toolbar, just for a little custom ability here. And I also installed uTorrent. Now these are going to act as the uh, personal files on the computer. And so when I upgrade to Windows Vista, this is going to uh, prove that my point. So uh, here we go. I'm going to insert disk and we'll be off to Vista. Okay guys, so here it is, Windows Vista. Now you don't need a product key with this because this is just a quick upgrade. This is your this is your gateway to Windows 7, quite literally, because all you need to do is is upgrade to Vista. No keys needed because Yeah, no keys, so yeah, here we go. Now I've installed a few programs like uTurrent and the Windows Live Essentials just to prove my point that your files will be saved. So yes, just it says please wait. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna pause the video here. Since this is a virtual box machine, I'm going to hit don't get the latest updates, and then after that, you you accept the EULA and hit next you want to hit upgrade it's gonna check for the compatibility now if, remember if you have XP home all the additions of Windows Vista will work on it but if you have XP professional only uh, Windows Vista Enterprise will be able to upgrade you and Windows set Windows Vista Ultimate so yeah, it says that uh, some issues were detected, and it basically says that a... Yeah, this is your compatibility list report. It's saying that Windows Messenger 5.1, which is a very outdated version of Windows Live Messenger, is not compatible, along with a whole bunch of other shit, which is unnecessary. And now it's going to start installing, so once we get to the Vista setup screen, I'll come back, guys. So until then... See ya. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry that took so long. Uh, by my standards, like it's 1.22 a.m. That I completely forgot this was installing. I was playing Dynasty Warrior Gundam 2 and all, whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna, you're gonna choose Ask Me Later for the quickest and uh, choose your times and everything. It's gonna say thank you. It might, it's gonna check the video performance and all that stuff real quick while it, it installs. So yeah, here, I'm gonna pause it again. Alright guys, I'm back once again. If you get any uh, driver issues, th just ignore them. Yes, I do realize that this says Dell, but uh, yeah, I got this from Pirate Bay, as you can probably tell, so whatever. It says anything about driver issues, I suggest locating them now for Windows 7. So, once you're done with this, screw that, you, have, you don't have to activate Windows Vista, because it's going to be a waste of time. Yeah, the OEM's Dell, and there's no product key, as you can play. Le as you can see, I bet you anything, it's not even going to let me activate it. 
Yeah, it's got a 1.0 rating on the scale, and it's got three days to activate, so I'm going to end the vi another video here so I can find what my copy of Windows 7, and then I'll show you how to install it. Oh, crap. <laughs> forgot. Like, uh, I had to press control every time I need to exit out the virtual box screen. Alright guys, this is the final part where you guys uh, insert Windows 7. Now, unlike Vista, you do have to have a product key or something that activates Windows. I have two things in common that I'll show you. One's the uh, Windows 7 toolkit. I'll show you how, to ha how that activates. And I'll show you another one I found that activated my version of Windows. So, first off, go to Computer and then go to your Windows 7 copy open it now remember you have to have service pack 1 with Windows Vista so yeah it shouldn't be too hard if you didn't have any driver issues now this specific version of Vista had driver issues with a uh, internal virtual box uh, network adapter thingy that allows me to connect to the internet so I had to uh, download Vista Service Pack 1 and then convert it into an ISO to get it installed onto Vista. Okay, since you are installing this, you would normally go to get online to get the latest updates, but since this is a virtual box machine, you want to get you want to press no, accept the EULA, go next and then press upgrade. It's going to check your compatibility. Now a few things will pop up. I'm not sure what though. All right, so this is the upgrade screen. It's going to, uh, yeah, some things won't work. Some things will. Really depends on your system. So yeah, here is the uh, upgrade screen. Now I'll come back later when Windows 7 is fully installed, and then I'm going to show you how to activate it. Alright guys, so here's the final part of the video. This is where you enter in your Windows 7 product key. Now, remember, you do have to have a Windows 7 product key, either now or later, because, uh, well, yeah, you have to activate Windows at some point in time, and a command prompt just unexpectedly popped up inside of VirtualBox, so, yeah, it's coming, so I'll just uh, wait till we get to the actual desktop. And this pretty much concludes the video, folks. As you can clearly see, we successfully upgraded from Windows XP to Windows 7, and, and Vista was the only key you needed, and there doesn't seem to be any, if at all, driver issues. See? And at the very beginning, remember, I installed U-Turn and the Windows Live Essentials, and they're still here, and they're all still working. See, like, I can open up U-Turn, here, give me a second, I need to scroll down. This thing's weird. Yeah, the screen resolution in VirtualBox is a bit weird, but it does work. So let's try something else, like Windows Live Mail. Yeah, on your first on your first time with the Windows Live Essentials with Windows 7, you're it's gonna give you this uh installing thing. Basically what it does, it configures how it it, it works with the start menu. So once it does that, just uh, double click it again and it should open. Just give it a second here. Alright, see what I mean? Windows Live Mail. And since there is no account on here, you pretty much have to set up your uh, Hotmail account. So yeah, and that pretty much concludes this video. And thanks for watching, and this video took approximately four days of my life.